What's up guys, Boris here, and as you guys can see, the Coliseum is up for me on One Piece Treasure Cruise Japan. It took me a while to figure out how to do it, um, and we managed to figure it out between a couple of us. The trick is that the Coliseum will only show up, and this is new, it'll only show up if you haven't, it, it, it only show up if you have your time zone set to Japan. Now, if you have your time zone set to Japan, the Coliseum will show up, which as you guys can see right here. Uh, and I'm going to tell you guys right now in this video how to change your time zone to Japan. This is not time traveling, so you will not be time traveling in that you're not changing the time of your clock. You're changing the time zone. So essentially, your time will change, but you're not moving forward or backwards. It's just the base uh, the base time will change. Okay, so now I'm going to explain to you guys how exactly to change your time zone on your Android device. Um, what you're going to go is you go into your settings and go into time uh, or date and time here. So you can see I've gone into the date and time tab. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, this automatic date and time. Normally, this is what you would deselect to time travel. But in this case, we don't want to time travel this. We're just not time traveling. What we're doing is we're going to be going to automatic time zone. And you're going to uncheck the automatic time zone. Uh, it probably will be checked. It might not. Um, what we're going to do is uncheck it and go to select your time zone. Select Japan Standard Time. That's GMT plus 9. Uh, any of the GMT plus 9 time zones should work, but I just go ahead and pick Japan just to be 100% sure. This will allow you to actually enter the Coliseum and get the new uh, the new unit, the new Rebecca, the new Lucky Blue, the new Ruji. They have skill books as well and stuff. Um, go ahead and do that. I believe that the reason they're doing this, um, well, I don't know if it's the reason, but it, it, from what I've heard, the Japanese games are technically only supposed to play them in Japan. You're not supposed to play them outside of Japan. So maybe there's something they're doing to try to... Um, Thwart people from trying to play outside of Japan, but I mean, this uh, doesn't really seem like that big of, uh, of uh, you know, a complex thing to find out. Let me figure it out in like 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, that's how you guys are going to do it. Uh, do that, and the costume will appear. And then once you go back to the game, it should work. So, uh, let me know down below if you guys have uh, if you guys have any trouble trying to do it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Just do what I showed you guys, and hopefully it will work. And let me know what you guys think about the costume once you start playing it. So, with that said, thanks all for watching. Until next time, peace.